So I'm going to demold a couple of these to see what how they turned out. So I'm going to take this out and see. Ah, <laughs> it's so cool looking. So I will paint this so that it's actually clear. <laughs> it looks like a ring pop. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> so once the clear resin is on it, it'll like really show and hopefully the unicorn I put a unicorn ring in here. Hopefully the unicorn actually shows through. <laughs> That's kind of cool. My brother gave me this mold, so I'm excited to uh, to ask him where he got it from because I think I want another one. <laughs> but you can see the ink. I did the alcohol ink on top, and then I did white alcohol ink to drag it to the bottom. So you could kind of see that in action. It'll be really cool once there's a, another layer on so it becomes more transparent. So let's see. I'll take all the rings out. See how this works. Oh man, that is really cool. This is really fun. <laughs> Big star ring. <laughs> Super cute. Let's see. Take this one out. Actually, I want to move these because there might be some hardener or resin. Whoa. That one's pretty crazy. Nice. Take this guy out. Very cool. So you can't really see that there's a little animal shape inside of it. But uh, the ring itself is still pretty cool looking. Neat. This one has a little bear. <laughs> I didn't put it further further enough in the middle. It looks like it's from Frozen. <laughs> and <laughs> this one came out so weird. Okay, okay. Pretty neat. There's bat wings in this one. So, that was my first attempt at doing rings inside of a mold. Might turn these into like little pendants or something. There's that one. This one. These are cool. Some glitter in this one. It's all silver. These I might leave because they still have some room. Nah, I'll take them out. Some glitter in this one. And oh man, that one's really cute. It's very transparent. So all in all, really cool stuff. Really like it. Thanks, Mike.